you know how it is. Another day, you know. Driving, chewing gum, I guess. Except this morning, I gotta save a co worker. And I'm like the lowest guy on the total. most skilled and most underpaid employee, you know, that's me. Anyways, so now, as I was already two blocks away from work, I would have made it on time, you know, a co-worker calls me, hey, car won't start, I don't know why, you know, he's, he's got like a $50,000 Cadillac, I drive a $5,000 Chevy Cavalier. His car don't start, mine starts without a problem. I can't get the motherfucker to die. His car dies every day. Mine does not die. Anyways, back to the point. I'm saving a co-worker. Hitting every red light. Boss knows I'll be late, so I'll probably get paid from regular time. I'm gonna tell you, drive all the way across town. Pick him up, drive all the way across back to town to go to work. So, now I'm driving by my college. Yeah, I went to college. Yeah, I went to college. That is why I'm most underpaid and highly skilled. This guy, I don't think he made it out of high school. Oh, he's paid the same. Yeah, so, what happened in the news this morning? Let's see here. Bunch of mall fights in big cities for some stupid ass reason. Somebody yelled gun and there was no gun, so they fought over it. Makes sense, you know. It's like somebody gets shot by police, so people rob pay less stores. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Um Yeah, Let's see here. There's a bunch of methane gas in Antarctica. Might cause the world to collapse. If that's even possible, you know, solid Earth, I don't think it could collapse. But if it was hollow, hollow Earth, maybe it could collapse. But I don't understand the whole hollow Earth thing. If it was hollow, where do the people live on inside the Earth? They live like on the ceiling? Can you even do that? Can you live on a ceiling? I don't know. So that don't make sense. So eventually, some point of the Earth has to be solid. That's where they live, on the hollow Earth, right? So anyways, it's probably a bunch of sinkholes. You know. It happens. Water evaporates with the core of the Earth. You know, a lot of water under the planet. Just sinkhole, you know. And then driving crazy. That's how we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, about halfway, halfway across town. Picking my nose, you know, I got boogers and stuff early in the morning. Got the heater on because it's like 13 degrees outside, two days after Christmas. Yeah, I got boogers. It's crazy. I can't think of nothing to say. Except I gotta save this guy, this co-worker, you know. Why do I why do I gotta be that guy? Ain't nobody wanna be the guy that saves co-workers. But lo and behold, that's me. This guy probably gonna do an illegal lane change, get in the wrong lane, try to cut me up. Nope, must have beat past him. That's gotta be an idiot. Must have been a 
tractor or something going to the hospital. Who knows? how far away this guy was. Six minutes of driving. I mean, this is early morning. This is before the traffic. So, here we go. I'm married, but there was a hot chick in the car next to me. Get some of this nice tea here. Anyways. Now I'm about three quarters of the way halfway across town. Looking like it's going to be a cold day. She's trying to check me out, but I have a wedding ring. That might be the reason why. Don't want to look over there. Give her false, false reading. I was supposed to get under my car last weekend, which was Christmas weekend. You know, one of my brackets fell off the muffler, so it's all hanging loose. And I have like a hole in some kind of manifold or something like that. A co-worker says, I'm not very mechanical, but I can put a bracket on. That's not going to be too hard. I'm just going to self-tap screw into the bottom of my car. Maybe put some, uh, some caulk or some sealing over it. I don't know what I'm going to do about the hole in the front of the muffler, or the front, excuse me, Got the hot tea there, give me a burp. Anyways, so I'll probably just cut a pop can in half, or a, uh, just, you know, a regular food, vegetable can, and muffler tape it up. Somehow, I think I'm getting closer to where my co-worker is. Thing is, you know, I got everything in my front seat here. And, uh, I gotta move it so he has a place to sit. This guy. I don't know what to tell you about this guy. I don't even see him outside waiting. Typical co-worker. There we go. One of the bad drivers out, man. guy is I guess I gotta call him. Great. Alright. Ending trip. Can't see me anyways, man. 